This one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> oh boy. Where do we begin with this one? Alright, I will admit, this was a gigantic letdown to what I was building up. Like, I was building up this giant Mario and Sonic clash, like this ultimate b fight battle of gaming legends. And I really, really let everyone down with this one. I do feel like the ratings would have been a lot better if I had written the research better and uh, focused on the fight more. But as I was making this episode, finals week was approaching in college, so usually I read over the read ugh. usually I read over the scripts and double check them. Sometimes I rewrite them completely because after Rayman vs. Spyro and how poor that script was, I mean the research and all that was pretty accurate, but the the script is just so cringy. There were terrible jokes. Uh, there was I said like dragons and dragonflies. 50 times in the first 30 seconds of Spyro's analysis. Like, ever since then, I've been, like, double-checking my scripts. Except for this one. Because Finals Week is approaching this week. And now that I look back at the script, I could have explained Mario's... the reason why Mario wins way better. Alright, so let's get into what people were saying. <clears throat> first of all, I'll get into the big one. Mario's universe feat versus Sonic's universe feat. Alright. I'll go ahead and get to Sonic, because people are like, You nerfed Dark Spine Sonic, oh, this is such a nerf. Well, the reason for that is because, one, that was not even Sonic's own power. He asked Shara for her strength to defeat Alf Layla Walayla. Two, it took place in a storybook universe consisting of the Arabian Nights only. That is a very, very small universe. It's not anything close to the scope of Mario's universe feat. Now people are saying, Mario was saved by Rosalina, Mario was protected during that. And while he did have a Luma cushion, I wouldn't say he was saved, because... I mean, why would Rosalina save Mario and not Peach? Peach was still in there. I think she was speaking to Mario as the universe was being reset. Because you can hear the baby Lumas crying in the background as they're being born. The universe is being reset, new stars are being born and all that. Now, another thing is that it was a supernova and not a reset of the entire universe. But that is not true, as Rosalina even explains that it is, in fact, the universe. How universes reset over and over, and they're different each time. Kind of like when you play a game, and then you hit reset, and it, it plays differently each time. You're never going to have the same playthrough of a game over and over and over like that. So, yeah, Mario's universe feat is legitimate. Plus, even if Mario didn't... Even if you say Mario didn't fall in that black hole, that universe resetting black hole, Bowser did, and Bowser survived. Mario is able to easily beat Bowser on a regular basis. That's a big power buff on Mario's side. Whereas Sonic with Alf Layla Walayla, we have no proof of Alf Layla Walayla having universe feet. He simply claims it, and we don't see him doing anything universe level. Like he says, I will create this reality in my own image, that sort of thing. Which we never see him do, we never see any actual proof. And plus, he was an incomplete monster. Remember, Sonic says it outright, that Alf Layla Walayla is incomplete. He's some deformed, misshapen creature. So, Alf Layla Walayla didn't even have his universe level powers yet. He was incomplete, like I said. So now that I got that out of the way... I will say, Super Sonic. Someone did point out that Sonic did stay as Super Sonic for days. And I will admit, I did overlook that. However, however, even Super Sonic's greatest feat is still not as good as Mario in base form. Super Sonic's greatest feat was in Sonic Battle, I believe, where he beats... I can't remember the name. It was so long since I played Sonic Battle. But there was robot... There was... It was either Sonic Advance or Sonic Battle, one of the Game Boy games, where one of the robots or something wipes out an entire star system and Super Sonic defeated it. That would be solar system level for Super Sonic. Mario in base form is multi-galaxy to universal. And another thing, I was including everything, even from different universes. I was including Paper Mario, Super Mario RPG Mario, the Mario and Luigi series Mario, Mario Party, Mario Kart, main series Mario Bros, just like Sonic. Sonic, uh, Sonic Boom, 
and all that stuff. All the different universes, I was including them. And I nerfed Mario too. I left out his pure hearts from Paper Mario, and I left out his beating uh, Dementio feet, which would make him multi-dimensional, like extreme universal, multi-universal, hyperversal even maybe. I don't know, Mario is insane. Mario is much more insane than people give him credit for. <laughs> uh. So yeah, there are just some, some things I could have explained way better. Ugh. Okay, another thing. People mentioned Mario can't go that fast without a launch star. Like, I mentioned Mario being at faster than light speeds. First of all, he... First of all, launch stars are made from Lumas. Sonic gets his wisps. Mario gets his Lumas. Even then, he doesn't need the Lumas. In Super Mario Galaxy 2, whenever you select a level, he bursts off the starship and goes flying towards into a galaxy onto a planet without, with, completely without a star rod, or star launcher, launch star. He just goes flying. He does not need a launch star to go that fast. Plus, there's the red star in Super Mario Galaxy, which lets him fly around. Granted, that's not nearly at the speed that we see him flying at with the launch star, but still, just something to consider. Mm. So I think I addressed all the major the major points. Sonic's durability is not impressive. It, we don't see Sonic surviving anything impressive. Yeah, and someone also said Sonic did survive a fall from space at the end of Sonic Unleashed, but no, Chip. What happened is after they beat Dark Gaia, Chip lifted him out of the Earth as it was closing back up, and then Sonic dropped. There is no indication that it was all the way from space. We just see him falling out from above the clouds. But still no indication it was outer space. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Sonic got shot by Kamek. I mean, Mario. Mario got shot by Kamek, went flying to a different planet, hit it, and he was okay. <laughs> yeah, people are arguing about Knuckles, too. This is game Knuckles, not, like, Archie Knuckles, where... Archie Knuckles is like multi hyperversal or whatever. Ooh. So overall, I do think this episode would have gotten a lot better ratings if I had rewrote it and fixed the script more and actually got a cool fight instead of that machinima thing. It's really hard to do a choreographed fight when you're one guy with two controllers. It's like near impossible. Oh, this episode though. I was expecting it to be split. I was expecting it to get the reception that it got. I didn't, ex however, I didn't expect people to say it was my worst episode ever. I still think that goes to Rayman vs. Spyro because of how insignificant it is compared to the rest of the episodes and all that stuff. It's ooh, I don't like Rayman vs. Spyro at all. Like if I remake a battle, that's the one I'm gonna remake with a better script. I'm gonna actually have an animation if I do remake it. And then the voice acting where I wasn't trying because I was like three minutes away from having to leave to go take a test at school. This was during the time of finals in college again, which explains the poor script writing. So yeah, overall, this entire thing could have been way better. And while I still agree with my own results, I did execute the entire thing poorly. I explained it poorly, I got my points across poorly. Another thing I completely left out of the results that I was planning to, but I didn't because I didn't rewrite it, like I did the others, was the cloning cherries. Imagine four or even five universe level Marios against, like, a um, galaxy level Sonic. That's just not fair. So yeah, it's nothing against Sonic either, because I actually used to be a pretty big Sonic fan. I had my own... Terrible OC named after me and everything. Oh, sorry, I get the hiccups. <clears throat> so, it's not like I dislike Sonic. It's not like I think he's the worst thing ever. It's nothing against Sonic. And it's not despite the Sonic fans either. Because I, I would never, like, intentionally go out seeking negative attention. Like, some people think that negative publicity is still publicity. Like, no publicity is bad publicity. But I, I still don't like negative publicity. So... If if I was intention if I was intentionally trying to make someone angry with this, I could have made it a lot worse. I could have made it so much worse. Ugh. 
I guess that also explains why this episode is so short, too, because I didn't rewrite the script. I mean, it even had a fight scene, and it was still, like, only 12 minutes long. It was just a very mediocre episode. I don't think, I still don't think it was my worst episode like people are saying it is, but it most certainly wasn't even close to my best. I still think my best is either Krillin vs. Hayachi or Jin vs. Ryu. Maybe that's just bias because I like Tekken, and those are the two of Tekken characters. But I also like Little Mac vs. Ippo too, even though some people disagree. I just feel like Ippo would win that one. But yeah, th Oh, another point I completely forgot. White Tanuki Mario, White Tanuki Mario. People mentioned Mario only gets this when he dies. And while that's true, again, White Tanuki Mario... I shouldn't have even... Oh yeah, I shouldn't have even mentioned White Tanuki and Mario, because, again, Mario in base form is superior to Super Sonic. Mario in base form has better feats than Super Sonic. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. <laughs> Uh, I don't have anything else to say. I'll just accept the terrible ratings that I get. And see you for the update Saturday. Ugh.